Our top story tonight, natural disasters are ripping through the West Coast. In Southern California, Tropical Storm Hillary just made landfall in the last few hours. Some parts of the state are already facing severe flooding after not getting hit by a storm this size in decades. And some 1400 miles north, major wildfires are raging in Washington state and up into the Canadian province of British Columbia. It comes during one of the most wildfire, worst wildfire seasons that Canada has seen in years. And tonight we're seeing the effects of those wildfires right here in Western New York. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. Claudine is off tonight. Now, right now, our region's air quality index is considered moderate and could be a risk for those of you with respiratory sensitivities. Meteorologist Carl Lamb is up on the roof tonight with more about what you need to know. So, Carl, the smoke is back. Yeah, it is back and it is going to be with us for Monday and the very early part of Tuesday as well. So let's show you the current air quality index. It's at a 59, so that's considered moderate on our scale here. Uh, of course, we're always looking for good air quality as it gets closer to zero, so certainly an elevated concern, and it could tip into that unhealthy for some category as we head into the day on Monday. Here's the current satellite and radar shot showing us that smoke and the light blue is a good sign that that haze is starting to dissipate. But uh, you stack the haze on top of the clouds and it's not allowing the heat to escape. So that's why it's so warm out here tonight wherever you are. It's still 73 degrees right now and 74 at the airport, 75 in Dunkirk. And look at that. It's very humid out here. Almost uncomfortable. Hope you have the fans and air conditioners going and we'll let you know when you can expect more smoke and when we'll finally get some rain this week. All that coming up in a little bit. Mary Alice, back to you. Very good, Carl. We'll see you then. Well, we've got a new update from investigators tonight on two fires that happened in Buffalo this weekend. The first was on Dodge Street Saturday morning around 430 AM. It caused more than $40,000 worth of damage. Then yesterday evening, another home caught fire on Ludington Street. That one left eight people homeless and caused damage to a neighboring home. Tonight, we've learned that both fires started on the first floor and are still under investigation.